Hey Krabs, this is Blue04. Um, gosh, I have the highest respect for you. You are such a technically competent creator. Like, everything you do, I am just totally amazed by, and I just like, and I'm just like, whoa, I wish I could do that. Um, but I haven't seen any of your single player stages yet, and I don't know if it's because you haven't published any, or if it's just because I haven't been looking. And so this is really my first exposure to any of your work in the single player space. Um, so I'm really excited to go try this out and see what's here and tell you what I think. Um, and so I know when you were working on GFC2 Pog, there was some work on, and, and again, it's one of those things where I'm a terrible player. I Like, look, look, you designed this so that the player's just supposed to run straight. I'm not doing that. It's just not who I am. Um, but I know when we were talking about GFC 2 Pog, you had a Lewis script for scaling items up and down, and I see you're using that here. Um. What am I looking at? What it, is this? What am I looking at? And then like my assumption is that this is Skybox that I'm right next to. And like I don't, I don't get that. So, so I like I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, so this is every individual sector is a different flat, right? And I don't, I don't get. Is that like some like thing that you do to help yourself on like the the mapping backend and you just leave it because you like the aesthetic? Like I don't. It's really just weird to me. Um, and I think that's probably all I have to see around here. Um, and then and then the scale of the water texture makes me say that I'm standing on skybox, which is fine. Um, I mean, big textures are a cool look, right? Um, and, and you've heard me yap on about background textures, and so I think that having l very large background textures is actually very cool, but, um... Do you know how it is? Okay, so you're using the Green Flower 2 music. Got it. I don't know why I couldn't place that on first glance. Maybe I play Green Flower 1 so much more than Green Flower 2. Which I think is probably true. Um. Wait. So I'm like, as I'm as I'm looking around here, I'm like, I'm just getting like frustrated trying to figure out like what's going on. Like, why can't I see everything? What's my field of view at? What's my field of view at? That that didn't work. Field of view. One twenty. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it up to one twenty five. That didn't work either. Okay, I'm gonna need to change that in my config. Why does the two points in field of view matter so much? I don't know, but. I was really uncomfortable with field of view 123 now I'm at 125. Why do I have such a field of view? Uh, why do I have such a high field of view? I don't know. Don't don't ask me. Um, or do ask me. I don't know. Um, Cause I don't. Maybe it's just your stage is so big. I don't know. Um, but here I am with my increased field of view and now I'm happier. How am I supposed to get up there? Yep. So like, I kind of feel like it's not fair. I kind of feel like it's not fair if I like do old DC criticism using rebound dash, but like, gosh, I love rebound dash. Um, after I finish this run, I might do another run with rebound dash. What, am I going backward? What? So hold on, hold on. So I'm like, Is this the only path? I'm like being a little bit of an imbecile and just like trying to understand everything before I go forward. Hope you'll forgive me. Um, I 
Okay. So it looks... Okay. And then... So there's kind of a high route? Oh! I missed the spring! Got it! What? Why haven't I fought this bug before? It's a freaking bug! Um... Ooh! Now you've unlocked my power! I love this fire shield. I'm just going crazy. I'm just gonna just like keep using the fire shield because I'm a crazy loon. I don't actually want to play your stage. I just want to use the fire shield. Um. I just I just want to use the fire shield because I'm a rebel. Uh, I mean this is great, 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 great. Um, and I actually don't like shield abilities from a design standpoint, but that's a different video. Um, Okay, so where do I go with that spring? Oh. This son of a gun! This freaking son of a gun! What? Okay, crabs, you tell me. How is anyone with a field of view less than 120 going to see that? Dead. Alright. Um... I guess we're just gonna do it again! Because I didn't... I don't feel like I saw everything. Um... Alright. Um... Alright, it... Okay, um, there, okay. I'm... Yeah, sure, let's try this. Um... Give me a crawl. Give me! Boing! Wait, did that not work? Did I not do it right? Did they fix that? Come here! Come here! Come out into the sector with a high ceiling! I wanna jump on you! Nope. He doesn't do that. Uh...
Okay, I guess they fixed the water shield giving you an uber bounce when you bounce on monitors and enemies. Um, that was one of the things that actually, like, made me wary of using the shield on my stage because I didn't want to give players, like, um, uber bounces. Because that's what this stage, that's what the shield used to be before they patched it. Um, what is this? What is this? Okay. Where, where am I even going? Where's forwards? Where am I? Who am I? What game am I playing? Um... Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Nope. I'm getting way too excited. I promise I'll have something useful to say in a minute. I just need to finish the stage first. Um. How do I finish this stage? <laughs> um. I'm just look, I'm just bad at this game, okay? That, 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 that's just all there is to it. I'm gonna hold spin. And I didn't die. Great. Um Okay, okay, time to do, uh, time to do some Metal Sonic and some Knuckles. Okay, so first question, what's back here? Okay, so this is like, so this is like a free ticket to go play Super through the stage. It's how I'm interpreting that. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. Um. Okay, and then the question I really wanted to ask. Oh, you did steal the thing from me. Very good. Very good. Very good. I was wondering. Yeah, because it's just like... Okay. Um, so let me, let me switch to Metal Sonic and actually start talking about useful things. So, um... So, you've displayed exactly the technical competence I was expecting from you. So, you know... Awesome. Um... Yeah, this is just... Hold on, let me get some water. So, so Krabs, you've displayed exactly the technical competence I was expecting from you. Um, my, my current thoughts are things like, like, like the, the big, big weakness of this stage is it feels like you're relying on horizontal springs and it seems like you're relying on horizontal springs that are placed in places that aren't necessarily obvious. 
And so it's like, I don't just for whatever reason, these, these blocks that your horizontal springs are like anchored to, like they just kind of blend in for me. And so I don't really notice them. So I see a slope like this and I think, oh, I guess I have to spin in order to get up that high, which is just something I know because I'm an experienced player. If you give this to a, to a new player, they're going to be like, what? Right? If they hold forward, they're going to be like, what? Oh, I guess that worked. Okay. But, but like case in point, when I got to this part here... What I said was, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to roll downhill from here and go whoosh, and then land and then go like that. And then uh, when really what was going on is that this half pipe or quarter pipe is designed for this guy, okay? And I feel like the hiddenness of these springs is actually a flaw in your design because it means that for me as a player, it harms my ability to be able to parse the landscape quickly and to be able to understand quickly what I need to do in order to progress forward. Um, and, and at this point, you've based enough of the stage design around requiring those kinds of springs that I feel like the only quick and easy fix is to just like use some distinct texture on those spring anchor pieces this thing my only solution my only suggestion is to just use a different texture on this and make it something that's relatively easy to parse from afar so that when players look at this they're like oh there's springs attached to that and they just know because that's something you've trained the players to expect um check out my upcoming gimmick training video from or check out my upcoming gimmick video for more about player training because that has to happen I haven't done anything recently. I just haven't been making videos, which is fine because I've been doing other stuff, not all of it SRB2 related with my life, hopefully, maybe. Okay, another one of these. Um, and, like, I, I feel like, I feel like I'm playing a Sonic Advance 2 stage, or a Sonic Advance 1 stage. I didn't play Sonic Advance 2. I feel like I'm playing a Sonic Advance stage, and I feel like... I feel like one of the things that's going on is it's got sort of this sense of high route, low route, and there's a bunch of like interwoven connections, and there's kind of this sense of like, oh, you fall and now you're stuck in a pit and then you have to go find a way out, and and all of that seems successful, but like I just have this question of like, how do I, it, it feels like my my ability to memorize and understand this is kind of just brute force. Like I don't, I feel like it's just a bunch of like ramps, right? There's nothing, there's nothing iconic about the place of this stage, which is like honestly not fair, right? Who, like I'm I'm calling you out as being as like not making an iconic place when I feel like that wasn't part of your design goals, right? But I'm, I'm, I'm it's just a forest of GFC rock, right? And that's fine, but like, you know, it's just there's. Where, where are my, where are my landmarks? Where am I? Like, like, why, why am I running around here? Like, I don't, like, it's not, I, and I mean, maybe that's not a fair set of criticisms, right? But I feel like I, when you get to a certain high level of design, my, my question for you is what, what's the story? Where am I? What am I walking over? What am I walking to? Why does this place exist, right? Those are things I think about, and if you don't want to think about that, that's fine, but like, I don't know, it's just, it's just you've got this set piece and I'm falling here, and I feel like, like my, my thing right now is that this is the most iconic part of your stage. So you've got this very like specific set of arches and waterfalls, and you've got this like really, really high place, and I'm like, why, why is the rest of your stage so devoid of spatial character? Because the rest of your stage feels really homogenous, right? Just in terms of this sense of place, and maybe sense of place isn't necessarily about a difference in material or a sense of landmarks, but in terms of a sense of scale and a sense of, like, like, what, what kinds of features are over me? Like, and there's, um... And I, I'm gonna make another stage about. I'm gonna make another video about memorable stages too, and then I'm just gonna tell you to go look at that instead of listening to me harp on about all this. Um, but like, I just I feel like in terms of a spatial archetype, I feel like what's going on here is we're we're kind of just in a canyon, right? I've got wall on my left, wall on my right, grass below me, and that's kind of just 
the entire stage. It's kind of just the entire stage. Like, there's no there's no relief where you like the, the canyon wall falls down and suddenly you're looking over this large expanse, maybe a beach, maybe the ocean, uh, maybe just a desert. I don't know. There's no there's no sense of vista here, right? There's no there's no relief. It's just a canyon the entire time. So um, and maybe this stage is shorter than I thought it was because I was, and maybe I'm, com maybe I just spent so much time in that canyon area that it felt like it was longer, bigger than it was because I feel like, I feel like this is a change of Vista, right? This, this reminds me more of like what Marble Blast Ultra does because Marble Blast Ultra is platforms over Death Pit, which is not, you know, platforms over Death Pit isn't unique, but it's different than a canyon, right? And so when I get to the second half of the stage, the second half of the stage feels like a different sense of place. And maybe the problem is just that I just got so lost in the first half of the stage that it felt like it was larger than it actually was. Um, at this point, I'm like kind of concerned that I'm just rambling on about nothing. Oh. So, you know, um, these are just things I think about. These are just things I think about, right? And and it's like there's, and really underlying all of this is that I'm so impressed with you that I'm like, give me more, give me more, give me more. You can do more than this. You can do more than this. I know you can, right? And maybe, and I, I kind of have a playful tone, which in some ways is like, um, I've I've had enough interactions with you that I feel like, um, that I feel like I'm letting myself use this kind of playful tone. But um, yeah, I just feel like. I just feel like it's fine and I want it to be great, right? Which is just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm being hard on you because I'm like, partly because I'm too familiar with you, partly because I'm like, it's so, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm gonna have anything useful to say beyond this. Um, uh, give me an earful on Discord. You know where to reach me. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Uh, Amy, run. I totally missed that crawl bob. Totally missed that crawl bob. Yeah. And I probably should have done an Amy run through this earlier because of how reliant this is on spinning, but I don't think it's that reliant on spinning, so maybe it's fine. Like, that's a really good question. How does Amy do the outro section? How does Amy do the outro section? Um... Here I am. And... Goosh! What? 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 How did that work? Is there... Is this, is this like, momentum loaded? Like, like, what's going on? I don't... Okay, whatever. Whatever, see you on Discord.